Friends, sometimes there is a doubt in your mind that the energy meter in your house is working too fast. So through today's video, we are going to learn that if we have such a doubt that our energy meter is working too fast, then in that condition, how we will check it, we will learn about it. So see, if you want to check the energy meter, then before that, you need to know two or three things related to energy meter. So friends, first of all, the electricity bill that is generated totally depends on your energy meter. That is, the more unit of our energy meter shows, the more electricity bill we get. Another name for this energy meter is KWH meter. That is, the unit shown here is totally because of this KWH. The K written here means kilo. Kilo means thousand. After this, the W written here means watt and the H written here means R. So kilowatt hour. So our energy meter here totally works on this. That is, if we keep the 1000 watt load running for an hour, then our energy meter shows one unit of electricity. I will explain this to you in detail. So here you just have understood that if we keep the 1000 watt load connected in our house and run it for an hour, then in that condition, our energy meter will show one unit of electricity. Now friends, one thing is written here, watt. So what does this mean? Understand this once. So see, the watt written here means power. That is, how much power our equipment takes to run it. That is, how much electricity it consumes. So friends, here I will tell you some examples through which you will understand well. Look, the fan used in our house is usually of 60 watt and our LED bulb is between 6 to 8 watt. If you don't know how many watt your fan is or how many watt your LED bulb is, then you can see over it. There is a nameplate on equipment. Its power is written on that nameplate. So by looking there, you can easily find out how many watt your equipment is. So the concept up to this point must have been clear. Let's move on now. Now what we have to do here was to check our energy meter. So we will check this energy meter using the same formula. That is, what you have to do is turn off all the equipment in your house. That is, all the things that run on electricity, turn off everything. If you want, you can turn off your main MCB. Okay, now if you turned off all the lights in your house, then you have to come to your energy meter. And what you have to do is note down its reading. Here we assume that the reading of our energy meter is now 456.7. Now, what you have to do here is to keep such equipment in your house, which is a resistive load. Resistive load means that the heater in your house is a resistive load or the incandescent lamp is also a resistive load. Okay, so here you just have to keep the resistive load. Now let's assume that we use a heater here. Now our heater is of 1000 watts. Now what we have to do here is that we will connect this heater anywhere in our house. But remember, you only have to turn on this heater in your house. All other equipment should be turned off. Now we have to keep the heater on for an hour. When we keep it on for an hour and as soon as one hour is completed, you have to turn it off. Now when we look at our energy meter, then our energy meter will show consumption of one unit of electricity. That is, when you note down the reading of this energy meter again, then you will see that there is some difference here. What you have to do here is that you have to subtract the old reading from the current reading. When you subtract it, then you will have a difference of one point. That is, there will be a difference of 1.0. There can be one or two numbers after the point here. There is no problem with that. But if the difference here is 0 0.5, 0 0.7 or 0.8, or instead of 1, there is 2. If there is a difference in your energy meter in this way, then you can say that your energy meter is faulty. If there is more reading in your energy meter, then you can say that your energy meter is working faster. And if there is less reading here, you can say that your energy meter is working slow. Okay, now if you do not have a load of 1000 watts, then you can use 5 incandescent lamps in that condition. Here we have 5 incandescent lamps of 100 watts. Now if we multiply 100 watts by 5, then we have a total load of 500 watts. Now we have to keep this load of 500 watts running for 2 hours because 500 multiplies with 2 gives 1000 watts. So if 1000 watts reaches here, then our energy meter will show consumption of 1 unit of electricity. Friends, you can see one thing here. The time here is 2 hours now. Earlier we had started the load of 1 hour. Then our energy meter shown 1 unit of electricity. But now we have to keep it running for 2 hours. So that our energy meter will show 1 unit of electricity. So friends, how do we decide the time here that how long we have to keep it running? For this, you have to use a formula. For example, we have a load of 1500 watts. That means we have a heater of 1500 watts. Now we have to decide how long we have to keep it running so that our energy meter shows consumption of 1 unit of electricity. So friends, here you have to use a formula. 
your formula is you have to divide the watt by 1000 and multiply it by 60 so that you will get the time. Okay, so let's understand one thing here. We have a load of 1500 watts. So we will put it on this formula. That means we will divide 1000 by 1500 and then multiply it by 60. When we solve this, we will get the answer 40 minutes. That means if we connect a load of 1500 watts, then in that condition, we have to keep our load running for 40 minutes. And as soon as 40 minutes pass, we have to turn it off immediately so that our energy meter shows consumption of one unit of electricity. That's it. Friends, here is a small question for you. You have to answer this question by commenting in the comment box. Here is the question for you. You have a 100 watt lamp. How long do you have to keep it running so that our energy meter shows consumption of one unit of electricity? Friends, here are four options for you. Option A, 5. Option B, 10. Option C, 15. And option D, 20. So friends, select option among these four options and answer in the comment box. So friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please like, share and comment on this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.